your bed, 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 your
but it was only one half of the god. Just like two sides of a coin. No, dog, I'm not letting you out. Ah, dang it, dropped the coin. Just like two sides of a coin, there was Sekhmet, the other side, which had the destructive force and power of the cat god. Now let's say that a war could have been decided by, I don't know, flip the coin. Heads, bastard! Tails, Sekhmet. Oh, um, flip. Sekhmet it is. The Persians and the Egyptians go to war. Now let's see the outcome of that war. Oh, dang, I need the cat again. All right, then. Let me just get the cat. Let's look for the cat. Buffy. Buffy girl. Coco, where's Buffy? There's the cat. It's all right, Buff. You're being very good. You're being a very good girl. Come here. I know, I know, I know. But don't worry. This is gentle. This is very gentle and not scary. This is very gentle and not scary, except for me picking you up. <sighs> Your tail's not a windmill, Buffy. How many times do I have to tell you that? Anyway, no, dog, please don't get in the shot. Since I have no idea how to do an Egyptian or Persian voice, I will imitate Christopher Walken in How the Persians Won the War. So, you Egyptians... Let me tell you a story. Two mice fell into a bucket of cream. One drowned. The other struggled till he drowned. The moral of the story is don't fall into a bucket of cream. Here's the thing. This battle's the cream. And, uh, here's a little mousy for you. And as the mousey walks into that bucket of cream, the Egyptians want to drain the cream to protect the cat. Because they are actually protected by law. Even accidentally killing a cat would get you instantly executed. Get out the shot! <laughs> anyway, that's how the Persians strategic strategically won a battle against the Egyptians. Since the Egyptians revered the cat so much, they couldn't r risk even killing one on the battlefield. Now, of course, they, there, it wasn't just one cat, there were many. But, um, yeah, the Persians took over the Egyptians in 525 BC. And there's a little playing card for you to look at. And without their worship of cats, time couldn't have gone on. Please, think of the kitties. Think of the kitties, please! Or I'll whistle. Do you really want me to whistle? No, dog, don't lick me. Anyway, credits. Yes, credits. Um, I'm not gonna read that. W okay, I'm gonna read it www.richeast.org slash hdwm slash cats slash cats dot html www.picturesofcats.org slash cat dash worship dot html my dog Coco my cat Buffy who is very tolerant good job by the way Coco for being so good You get some jerky. Anyway, let's continue with the credits. The little uh, booklet, 108 Interesting Facts About Cats. HTTP www.thecatsite.com slash sniff snips slash 257 slash cat dash worship <coughs> dot html www.blavatsky.net slash magazine slash the bleh, posophy slash www slash additional 
slash ancient landmarks slash Egyptians symbol of sim symbolic worship HTML. And believe it or not, believe it or not, this is not 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 dedicated to the late Greg Geraldo. I heard he was funny. Oh, Greg, I barely knew you. But that's off topic. Hopefully I get a good grade for this. Badger out.